Hi guys, I'm Tori Thomas and today uh, for my presentation I'm going to be talking about equine osteopathy. Um, the reason I chose this is because this is the career that I'm pursuing and I just thought it would be cool to share with you guys what it is and what it does. Um, so to start with I'll kind of explain what it is or try to. Um, so I would explain it as a type of physical rehabilitation for horses um, and equine athletes that helps them stay healthy and keep their joints healthy and their muscles healthy. Um, I would kind of compare it to like chiropractic work if you've ever seen a chiropractor work on a horse or a massage therapist um, try to help a horse feel better if it's having um, any type of issues with pain or whatever it may be. Um, so equine osteopathy focuses on treating the whole horse and not just the symptoms of whatever problem the horse is having. So like for example, um, if a horse is having back pain, um, a, a chiropractor or a massage therapist may like come out and try to treat the back um, and try to make that horse's back feel better. Um, versus equine osteopathy looks a little bit deeper into that and tries to figure out why specifically that horse is having back pain. And a lot of times that can be coming from somewhere else in the body, such as from an organ, um, like the stomach or the, the liver or the lungs or whatever it may be. Um, so equine osteopathy tries to treat the source of the problem and not just the symptoms. So while those other things come in handy, um, they require a lot of maintenance and a lot of uh, the, the chiropractor and the massage therapist has to keep coming back to treat that problem because it just returns after a little while of the horse going back to work and that, that pain will just come back. Um, so osteopathy focuses on treating the whole horse from the organs to the connective tissues, um, to the muscles and to the joints with the idea that once um, all of those areas are mobilized or um, once they're loose and able to move how they're designed to move, that the body will self-correct and fix any type of pain that that horse is experiencing. Um, so if you ever watch a, an osteopathist work on a horse, it looks a lot like chiropractic. Um, where there's a lot of picking up legs and moving legs in certain positions and um, using your hands to work on their back and try to um, correct the vertebrae if there's a vertebrae out or something like that. Um, and it, there's also an element of massage that's mixed in there because if a muscle is tight, it's going to keep on pulling on the skeletal system of the horse. And so what you need to do is loosen up that muscle so that it'll let go of that and that that um, whatever skeletal system, part of the skeletal system, it can go back to where it's supposed to be and stop causing pain for the horse. So um, it's just a really cool um, holistic way of keeping horses healthy and specifically like um, high level equine athletes that are working every day doing really difficult jobs. Um, like the first thing that comes to mind for me is um, horses that jump at a high level. Um, they're jumping every day and that causes a lot of wear and tear on their joints. And not that there's a problem with that, it just has to be maintained and make sure that that horse stays healthy. So um, a lot of people hire equine osteopathists to do that. So um, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, and the way that you get started in that is there's a school for it. It's called Bluggen Institute and it's in Texas. Um, it doesn't work as like a traditional school um, where you're in school for like a couple months at a time and then you have like a summer break. It's more um, you go down there for sessions. So like I would travel down to Texas for a session and then travel back to Ohio. Um, and there are between three and six sessions a year. And um, there's 14 total, so the certification takes about three years to get. So um, Bluggen Institute is the only um, school for equine osteopathy in the United States, and um, it's there's also there's there's a couple of schools in Europe, but this is the only one in the United States, which is um, kind of cool. So this is kind of like a 
a niche job that not many people have and not many people know about, which I think is another thing that just makes it really cool. Um, so if you guys have any questions about it that I can answer for you, feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Thanks.